It's got to be something. With the telemental health thing, I think that, yeah. you know, um, uh, I think that's maybe an important thing to stress, that if you are home and isolating, you still have an option of being able to connect with a mental health worker. Right. Uh, there are, there, there, uh, um, most of my colleagues have been, able, have been making that transition. You can still, there, and they've, um, a number of insurance companies have been, uh, a, uh, have uh, uh, lifted, um, uh, restrictions along those lines mm-hmm. so that people can get the help they need. There's talk of being able to deal with some of the uh, practicing across state line stuff. That, that's still in the mix. We're still right. trying to work that right. out. But, yeah. you know, there you now have that as an option where you may not have had it before. Right. And as opposed to just simply feeling you have to do without, you don't. You can you can find uh, sure. someone that if you don't already have a therapist, you can find someone in the, uh, in the community. This would be a good time to to keep that contact going. Well, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious about it because if you're already a patient or a client and you you have a therapist and you're working with them, that that sounds reasonable that you move to telemental health. You can do it on your phone. There are lots of different uh, platforms out there to, to to do those kind of things. But what about the new patient, somebody who's just dealing with this and needs to reach out for the first time to a therapist? Ah, that's going to be a little we different ha- we uh, have intake a, process. Is well, a, actually, you know, there are a number of folks that have been doing uh, online intakes for a while. There are ways we um, – there are programs that allow you to be able to receive and sign documents that you need to to be able to start that process. Right. There are literally ways to do that. You can still find someone um, – we have a way at my practice if someone – is new we can we can give them the stuff they need so they're aware of what uh, all the papers to sign all that sort of stuff and we can begin the process it, it right. happens it's not right and you know I, I i've noticed too that a lot of people have put uh on their websites there's a there's a notice about how we're changing our practice or uh that that goes throughout now you're being contacted by all of the companies not mental health the companies in particular but our groups but all the uh, businesses that you've ever done any business with is mm. sending you a notice about COVID nineteen. Yeah. I'm not sure mm. why I need to know that from mm. some of those companies that are out there, but they're trying of, to do something. Yeah. Uh, a couple to, of uh, in companies that I'm sort of embarrassed that I did a lot of uh, yes. work with. Is suddenly, you know, like uh, you know, <laughs> the inflatable uh, <laughs> doll uh, yeah, the, uh, company, uh, that kind of thing. I'm making those it up. A couple of inflatable sheep I bought suddenly. <laughs> oh. <I'm> like, <laughs> Being oh, contacted by you know, or, is, or I, mean, uh, I didn't really didn't need to hear that. Um, okay, inflatable sheep. 